Hi, in this video I'm going to show you quickly how you can change your IP address location and why you'd want to do so. Now, basically your IP address, everyone's got one, every single network device um, connected to the internet has an IP address, is registered in a specific country. So if you're sitting at uh, um, your home connection in Chicago, say, you've got an American IP address. In fact, more to the point, you've got a Chicago IP address. Websites can see this address and other people can as well. Um, your location is actually quite easy to establish from your IP address. So why should this bother you? Well, if you uh, want to keep a low profile and want to keep private, that's one reason. A bigger reason for a lot of people is um, being, act, being able to access different sites. Now, let me just show you quickly um, uh, an IP address finder that has now gone out and looked at my IP address, and you can see where it says I am. It says I'm in Lisbon. If you can see that, let's just zoom in. There's Lisbon. Okay, so this website thinks I'm in Lisbon. It's um, looked up where the IP address that I've connected to is registered and um, that's where it's decided I am. So if I actually go to another site, and nearly every single site will look up your location. I'm going to go to the BBC website now because um, I use BBC iPlayer, which is a media streaming um, site. And I tried to watch it. You can see here BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. It says, hang on, you're in Portugal. You can't watch it. In fact, um, kind of not, neither of this is true, and I'm going to show you why now. Okay, I am actually able to um, change my IP address at will because I've got a little program called a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, uh, sitting in my taskbar. <coughs> Okay, uh, this one's called NordVPN. There are lots of others, but this one works well and, um, hey, it's cheap. Uh, I've been using it for a few years, and you can see at the moment I'm connected to the Portuguese v uh, a VPN server in Portugal, which is basically why that um, IP info site thought I was in Portugal, and B, why BBC iPlayer um, won't let me watch. I'm actually not in Portugal at all. But let's just show, I need to change the location of my IP address. Now, I can't change my actual IP address. It's fixed. You, nobody can unless you own an ISP, which is fairly unlikely. <clears throat> but you can hide your um, IP address location information by connecting to a VPN. So if I wanted to be in the UK, for instance, and go back and watch my beloved BBC iPlayer, I would click on a United Kingdom server. Let me just disconnect this uh, Portuguese server. And now I'm going to go to my, one of my... I've set up a, a series of favorite um, servers here. So I'm going to click on a United Kingdom one. Hopefully you can see this connecting down here. So it's connecting to United Kingdom server 1047. You won't see the IP address because it just puts the server name. And you see it's connected there, NordVPN. Let me just close there. Now I'm going to go back and show you BBC iPlayer. Now remember, I previously had a Portuguese IP address. Now I've hopefully got a British IP address. Or rather, all these websites will see the address of the VPN server. So let's just go and what did we watch? Miranda. If you remember, I tried to watch this. I got this far and I clicked OK. And I got a little message here before saying, sorry, um, you're in the, um, it's only available to the UK. And it said I was in the, let me just stop that. And as you can see here, it works perfectly because uh, BBC iPlayer is now seeing my um, UK IP address from the NordVPN server. So effectively, I can change my IP address at will. Let me just go back to NordVPN. So I'm connected to the UK. I can now use UK resources. Say I wanted to watch Pandora. Uh, sorry, listen to Pandora, which is a um, uh, a US music site, which is brilliant. Um, I urge you to try it out. 
I could change to United States. Otherwise, I won't be able to watch it. Perhaps I want to brush up on my French. I would go to a French server so I could watch uh, French TV or France TV, I think, or um, one of the many French media channels. Simple fact is all these websites are blocked to the uh, only available to the domestic market. And um, you need to change your IP address to access them. Otherwise, you will live in a world where website after website after website will be blocked based on your location. And if you go anywhere obscure, you won't be able to access any of the decent websites. I mean, at least in the US, you can watch all the American um, websites, but without a VPN. If you are in Papua New Guinea, you're restricted to Papua New Guinea's websites. Okay, so a VPN is not just a security program, but it is a security program. It is also a way to change your IP address location at will whenever you like. Okay, right, I'll finish there. Uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. See you for now.